Hey church girls, what is your definition of dating? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever given it a good thought? Like, what does it mean to date? What did you hear dating is? Remember growing up in the church and they would say, Christians don't date. Really? That's what we're going to talk about today. My name is Janice. Welcome back to my channel. Church girls want to get married too. Yes, we do. And we need to because there's too many of us in the church. Single. Waiting. Forever. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. And remember to press that little bell so that when I upload my videos, uh, you can be notified. What is your definition of dating, honey? I'm drinking. Don't accuse me of drinking. <laughs> I know it looks like wine, but it's cranberry juice warmed. Mm -hmm. What is your definition of dating? Leave it in the comment for me. What have you heard dating is? What were you told dating is? Church folks used to say when I was coming up, because Christians don't date. And I remember thinking, now, in research class, professors say we have to gather our data before we can conduct the research, before we can write what we found, so we can come to a decision. And you cannot come to a dis decision about your thesis or hypnosis, hip whatever that word is, I forgot. It's been years, okay? You can't come to a decision if you don't have the information. So that always bothered me when the church would say Christians don't date. What is dating? Dating is the art of skillfully gathering data or information so you can make an informed decision. Did you get that? Let me say it a little bit. Let me take some of those words out. Dating is basically gathering the information so you can make a decision about this guy you're dating. That's what dating is. Dating has nothing to do with sex, has nothing to do with shacking up, has nothing to do with having babies, has absolutely nothing to do with any of those things. Simply put, Dating is to gather data about the guy so you can make a, a decision about him. That's why that list is important. We're going to get in that list next week. You need to have your list so you can know what it is you want in a husband. So when you meet somebody who does not line up to your, to your list, don't waste your time. Bye. Get rid of it. Poof, be gone. We're going to talk about my list next week. My husband, he was meeting my list, my list, my list, my list. My number one, I'm just going to give him my number one, must be born again. So if I met a man who was not born again, guess what? I'm not wasting my time. He's not born again. He's not saved. He does not believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. So why am I going to waste my time with him when my number one is, is to have a man that is born again. And a lot of my sisters, you waste time on guys who are not born again. Oh, he's spiritual. What does that mean? If you're born again and you're saved, you're filled with the Holy Ghost and you want to born again, stay filled with the Holy Ghost husband, why are you wasting your time with men that are not born again, that are not saved, that are spiritual, that, that, you know, you know, all those ideas people have about God, who God is and where God is and all of that stuff. People have a right to believe what they, they want to believe. It is their life, their choice. But as a born again woman that who, that wants a born again man, if you meet a man, he's not saved, he don't go to church, drop him, goodbye. If he say, oh, you've influenced me to go back to church, bye. Think about how many guys who went back to church to get a guy, girl, and as soon as they get him, they don't go back to church anymore. Bye. They need to have their own personal relationship with God. Bye. That's why you need to understand what dating is. Dating is to skillfully extract the information you need to make a decision about him. That's it. Not checking up, not having sex, not moving in with him. None of that. 
It's knowing what you want in a husband, meeting this guy, remembering what you want, gathering the data about him, and then make a decision about him. When I met my husband, I knew he went to the biggest church in our community. I knew he had a great job. I knew he was a gentleman. Guess what? Those are three things on my list. My number one was, must be born again. Number two was, he must be a tither. Number three was, he had to be a gentleman. Number four was, he had to be had to have a good job. So in that one night, I got all three. I got three things. It took time to find out if he was a tither. So that's how you gather information. And see, what a lot of us do, we meet a guy, we commit ourselves to him, we jump into a situationship and then try to back paddle so that he can fit into what we want. Don't do that. You're wasting time. Just think about how much time you've wasted with guys who end up saying, you know what, I don't want to get married. It took you four years to find out he don't want to get married. It took you six years to find out he don't want to marry you and he don't want to have kids. Mm -mm. Get the information about the man before you get committed with him. And I don't believe in being committed without a ring, okay? Mm -mm. Not committed. I'm not going to commit myself to one man. And then down the road, six months, you're going to tell me, oh, you don't want to get married. So you know what that means? If dating is about gathering data, you can gather data on more than one guy at a time. Stop getting in with one guy, putting all of your hopes and dreams in his full of holes basket, and then get disappointed when he walk away and he say he don't want to get married. Or this one. You meet a guy, you sleep with him, and then after you sleep with him, you ask, so, what are we? And then he says, well, I'm not looking for anything serious right now. Shouldn't you have found that out before you gave up the cookie? And you know I don't believe in giving up the cookies at all. So then he don't ate up all your cookies and now you are broken up all emotionally involved. Talk about he say he didn't want to have anything special right now. You should have found that out before you slept with him. Data gathering Okay, gather the data, get the information, find out what he want. What do you want? If you want to get married, why are you married? wasting time with a man who don't want to get married? Or a guy that says marriage is a piece of paper. I wrote about all these in my new book coming up soon, talking about how to gather data on the guys we meet. If he believes marriage is just a piece of paper and you want to get married, why are you still with him? Why are you having babies, popping out babies, hoping that he's going to change his mind and marry you when he does not believe in marriage? He think marriage is just a piece of paper. And the truth is, sisters, a lot of you, he just he's just saying that because he don't want to marry you. Because he'll break up with you and meet a guy and meet a girl and marry her in three months when he was telling you all along. Oh, marriage is just a piece of paper. Mm hmm Think about it. How many of you have wasted time with all these men waiting for them to make a decision about you? I want to know. How many years have you wasted waiting on a guy to make a decision about you? Leave it in the comments for me. A lot of guys, they hold the, the marriage ring over you like a, a dingling carrot. <laughs> Wait, the ring. I wish I had a ring. Let me put my ring on it. Let's see if this will work. Yeah. <laughs> this is the ring. This, let me put the whole set on it. <laughs> a lot of you got, ladies, the guy is dangling marriage. Can y'all see that? He did well, didn't he? <laughs> a lot of you, he's dangling it in front of you like. <laughs> he's dangling it. And you keep popping out babies like Leah. Popping the babies out. Every year you have a baby, pop, 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 popping babies out. Hoping that he's going to marry you. He's not going to marry you. He's going to get up and leave you with all your kids and go marry the girl he just met three months ago because she's what he wants. 
but for years he was dangling marriage and you was just trying to catch it. You trying to catch it. You trying to catch it. And every time you try to catch it, he pull it up and you just jumping and jumping, trying to catch it. Girl, please stop wasting your time. Okay. Stop. How much time have you wasted waiting for baby daddy to marry you? How long have you been shacking up with a guy waiting for him to marry you? Leave it in the comment, baby boo. Mm -hmm. Warm cranberry juice. Do not accuse me of drinking because you know how the saints are. <laughs> girl, Sister Janice was on that YouTube drinking, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how long, girl? I want to know. And when you're going to stop it? When are you going to put a stop to it? Tell me. Today, stop that mess today. Dating is about gathering data. You gather the data about the man before you get in a committed relationship with him. I was reading this girl yet the other day. She said uh, she believes in prenup, but the guy she's dating does not believe in prenup. And I said, well, you need to ask him. She said, no, I'm going to get the ring first. Wait a minute. You're going to get engaged. And plan a wedding six months to a year. And then you're going to talk to him about, does he believe, does he want to sign the prenup? And you already know he doesn't believe in prenup. Shouldn't you talk to him about that now? Gather data. If a prenup is important to you, excuse me, guys. Isn't that something you need to talk to him about before he asks you to marry him and before you accept his proposal? Then you're going to back up and say, oh, well, you know, I believe in prenup. This is what I'm talking about. Gather the data so that you can make an informed decision about the guy. All right. Don't forget, leave it in the comments. How many years have you been wasted waiting for a guy to, to marry you? How many years you've been waiting for baby daddy to marry you? Remember to subscribe. Remember to share. If you know a church girl or just any girl, any of my sister princesses that could use this word, invite them, subscribe, send it to them for me. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm believing God for you that today is the day you are going to meet your husband. Yeah. Thank you for watching, girl. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye.